nice hot sweaty day let's get back on track here thanks for all the great comments on Steve's video I had to do that I don't mean it to be gloom and doom but or doom and gloom how do you say it uh, I just I had to do that for the kid anyway uh, he was a good, good great kid not just saying that because of what happened he really was I gotta put a new uh, storm door on my back door because these two idiots these two friggin dogs I got destroyed my other one there's Lucy Love. Here she comes to the door. Lucy Love. I'm needy. I'm needy. I need to be near a human. That's all she wants to do is be near a fucking human. All right, that yard used to be a full thick. It looked like a rug when we moved here. A rug. Beautiful lawn I had. It was gorgeous. It looked like a golf course. I'm not kidding you. Look what they did to my lawn, man. And look at this. This is what happened. You got two dogs in a house that's too small. One, two, three, four, five, six little poos. Seven poos. One poo, two poo, three poo, four poo, five poo, six, seven poo, and a little tiny little pinch of poo. So you got seven and a quarter poos near a chewed stick. There's my nice yard. You like it? Now I'm putting this door up. This new screen door. You got a Home Depot. You can get a you can get a decent storm door for like 80 bucks. This sucker's all vinyl coated, and it's it's solid core door. It's pretty good, but they destroyed the other door. The other door is over here. I gotta throw it in the trash. See it? Here's the trash can. They destroyed my door. Anyway, I know you guys wanted to see something different. There you go. Yeah. Well, there's my baby. One of my babies. You like that, Biden? If that's his baby, then he's got problems. Remember that guy said that? Gotta love these guys, man. Anyway, I guess I got problems because that's one of my babies. There's my uh, DPMS AR-15, fully restored pretty much. Still has a DPMS barrel, which is the barrel's awesome because... Me and Jason shot at 100 yards and with the EOTech we were putting groups together smaller than our fucking little fists. There it is. Nice little light set up there with a laser. We'll probably never use a laser, but it's a unit, so. Flip up sights, EOTech, AB arms, bolt assembly in there. Nickel boron bolt assembly. Needs barely zero lubrication, and that ain't no bullshit. EOTech, uh, Troy Industries, flip up sight, MIOD, whatever the hell it's called. Uh, Magpul pistol grip on there. Magpul magazine with the windows. Yes, the sucker's loaded. No, there's nothing in the chamber. Magpul stock. I had to take the cheek rest off because it holds my head up too high. I can't see through the EOTech right, so I had to come off. That sucks, but what are you going to do? There it is. M4 platform. Sup, sup, sup. And... Uh, we're gonna make, uh, I know I just showed you dog shit. Who cares? Little dog poop never hurt nobody. Poor little dog poop. It's cute. We're gonna make some Armory friggin' Channel pancakes. Uh, my wife likes my pancakes. She loves my pancakes. I don't know why. But I'm gonna show you guys how I make them in case you don't do this. I don't know how you, might, you guys make pancakes, so. Here is the ingredients. This is what I do. Uh, right there to the uh, right is a is a jar of sugar and then right next to the sugar is vanilla extract so they say extract and then right there is ancha friggin mama and it's and it has to say very importantly complete you want to make sure it says complete if you have the one that says complete all you gotta do is add water but I add more because you know me I just have to be special okay all right i'm gonna make my uh i call them my famous pancakes because everyone likes my pancakes we think i could just cook italian food we could cook everything all right we'll be back all right let's make some slamming friggin plant pancake that's what i look like when i stand to the side 
a stack of pancakes. If you just if you add my double chin, my tits, my belly, and then that little belly right above your wiener, that's when you're real fat. You get one of those. I don't have one of those yet. God, please, I will never get one of those. Uh, you look like a stack of pancakes. All right, hold on. I'm in I don't care mode right now, as you can see. I don't give a shit mode. So what comes out of my mouth, if uh, I wouldn't let kids watch this because I'm in that kind of mood. Okay. All right. Now, these pancakes are actually really good. First thing you need, seriously though, really, you need a good nonstick pan. And uh, someone sent me this nonstick pan. I use it all the friggin' time. I use it for everything. It's, it's getting so much use out of it, and it doesn't come off because it's a good one. Okay. Second thing is, once you uh, when you make to make, I mean, anyone can make regular pancakes, but if you really want to make them good, check the shirt out. Check the shirt out. All right, what you got to do is uh, uh, get to know your heat control. Once you get your heat right, pancakes are a little tricky if you like them the way I like them. I don't like them real brown. I like them golden, like friggin' McDonald's. I don't like them real thick either. I like them thin, like friggin' McDonald's. Okay? So what I do is I marked my, I marked my uh, range knob. $1,500 stove and all the fucking... Uh, Look, all the chrome, it's supposed to look like they're metal, but they're plastic. All this shit is peeling off. Look at this. Look at this crap. Yeah, I'll be calling Gen Air and say, send me some knobs. Okay. So, let's light it. And what I do is, I have a black line on there. That's for my friggin' pancakes. That's how important my pancakes are. I have a black line for them. And that's sick. That's a fat man's thing. It's that important. So I just line up my black line. I did it with a sharpie with my uh, stove top line, and I know that's going to be perfect heat for the pancakes. So what I do is let the let this heat up, and most importantly, don't put any butter. Don't put any nothing. No nonstick spray. I mean, if you have a uh, if you don't have a nonstick pan, I don't know what to tell you to do. Yeah, if you have a nonstick pan. Do it this way. Don't put anything in there because the butter makes the pancakes run all over crazy. You just want a hot surface, no butter, and then uh, the whole thing is get, getting your powder mixed just right. Now, I don't fucking measure. I just pour shit in and I mix shit till it looks right. Like I'm making friggin' concrete or cement if I'm doing a cement job. I don't measure shit. Okay? So what I'll do is Get my Anchamama shit here. I pour about, I don't know, for three people. Mm, I eat a lot, let me see. Can you see that? Maybe about that much. I don't know how much is in there. Then what I'll do is I'll pour water in there with a friggin' wisp and uh, mix it until the thickness that I like. So I'm going to do that, and I'll show you the thickness that I like. It kind of makes them come out pretty good, so hold on. All right, I got it mixed. I didn't check it yet. It looks right, so the way I like it. Let's see. Let's lose that. Let's move Aunt Mama over here. And let's check out the uh, consistency, or the, uh, how do you say? Not the consistent texture. Okay. You want it kind of like that. See how runny it is? Not real, I might be a little runny. I don't know. I'm gonna have to add a little powder to that. Let me see. I don't know. You don't want it real thick like molasses because then the pancakes would look like a fucking cake. You want them nice and thin and golden? Perfect. That's, I'm telling you, they're delicious. I'm gonna go with this. It's a little runny, but uh, I think it's gonna be all right. Now, the next thing I do is get some vanilla extract, any kind, don't matter. And just put, just dribble a couple drops in there. See what the fuck I'm doing. That's all. Now that's probably like maybe a half a teaspoon. Then, dude, why don't you have a spoon ready? Cause you're a fucking spoon head. Then you get a like a soup spoon like that, or that's like a little bigger than a teaspoon. Some sugar in that bitch, right? Sugar. 
See what I'm doing? I'm putting sugar in. You see the back of my fucking arm. That's all. A little sugar. All right, you can put a little butter in there too if you want. All right, I'll mix this all up. Now, as it sits, it gets thicker and thicker. So I'm not going to add water and try to. Try, I mean, I'm not going to add powder and try to. And try to uh, thicken it up because I think it's, it's going to be perfect. I'll give it my pinky, my stinky pinky test. Hmm. Screw you, phone. Um. It tastes good. It tastes good. All right, rinse this bad boy off. So we're going to. All right, here's the whole thing now, because I like my pancakes to look pretty. You know, when food looks good, it makes it taste better. It's psychological. It's 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 true. When your pancakes look good, man, they taste good. So what I'll do is, I'll show you how to do one. This tripod is awesome. Look at that smooth technology. All right. Now, that pan's been warming up the whole time, so I know it's hot enough. What you do is you get one of these, uh, spin this here. You get one of these, uh, make sure it's centered. One of these kettle spoons, like that. And keep the spoon close to the pan as you pour it. Go like that. Bam! See how nice and fucking round? Nice round pancake amundo, okay? And then, uh, let it do its thing. Now when I flip it, it's going to look like a mess. But I'll show you how you fix that. Another thing you got to do is have your oven on warm, like, like 150 degrees. Put your oven on 150 degrees and then throw a plate in your oven. But you got to keep the pancakes warm, right? Why you making them? So I just do is take this and throw this in my oven. And I'll just keep flicking them in there as they're done. Okay, now here's the tricky part, flipping the prick. Because they're kind of runny, so they're hard to flip. You get a spatula, you know. Wait till you get to see them holes. Wait till you get a couple more of them holes. I don't want them too brown, so I just kind of work it around. Work it around. I already smell it. It smells like it's overdone. And then just... Now see that shit right there? Watch this. Check it out. Look at that. Now, that pancake's just about done. And to me, that's a little too brown. I get it right like on the on the fourth one. Alright? That's how my pancake I like my pancakes to look. Just like that. Now before I throw it in the oven, I'll throw some butter on each one. Since I don't have butter, I have spray butter. It's real butter though, I think. But I can't believe it's not butter. Well, and just spray each pancake with this or use real butter. Alright. Oh yeah. She's looking pretty friggin' perfect. Alright, that's going right in the oven. And that's it. Just repeat the steps. And that, that's that's how I make my pancakes. A lot of people like them. They want to know, you know, how I make them. Uh, family members, and now they're all going to see this. That's how I make them. They, they come out great. They, they taste like like fried pound cake. Jesus. Alright guys, uh, I'll show you when it's done. See ya. I just wanted to show this because I told Mr. 45 Bill and I bought this uh, this little booth from my friggin' dining room because there's nowhere to eat. Check it out. It's pretty cool, ain't it? Got it at Walmart for like 300 bucks. It's not what? What's the AR-15? There's snuff in the picture again. It's not it's it's not real good. It's a $300 set, but it's pretty cool. It's cool. I feel like I'm at friggin' Pizza Hut now when I'm eating my dinner. It's like I'm waiting for a waitress to walk up to my table. But it's cool. It makes the living room very functional, Bill. What do you think of that, dude? Next time you come up, uh, I can give you a very large meal. Alright, dude. Talk to you soon. Alright, they're done. There she is. Man, I hear music when I see this. Music. Look at this. There is a beautiful stack of pancakes with a big old slab of friggin' fat butter on there. Let me know what you think of the video. I think they came out good. They're really good pancakes and they're purdy. I feel like it's it's like I'm getting romantic. I feel like I'm ready to hear a Lionel Richie song or something. I'm getting the wood.
time to eat. See you guys later.